Hey everyone, Ram D here, and today we're gonna go over using recorders in Descript. That's right, not only can you edit in here, you can even film. What can't Descript do? Now there's two ways you can record in Descript. You can either use the editor recorder, which is located right here on your toolbar, or you can use the quick recorder, which is located in your menu bar for Mac users, or down here in your system tray for PC users. Now these recorders are essentially the same, but there are a few key differences that'll dictate how you wanna use them. So let's get into it. Now the quick recorder is exactly what it sounds like. It's meant for quick, off-the-cuff recordings that require little to no editing. For example, let's say I just want to show someone how to use a website. I can either click on my quick recorder right here, or use the keyboard shortcut Command-Shift-2, which is changeable by the way, and then this little menu pops up. And here's where I can adjust the settings and choose the camera and mic inputs for my recording. So let's go through this adorable little menu, shall we? Here I can choose what drive I want my recording to be stored in. Also got some additional settings over here. Beautiful. Here I can choose whether I want to record my camera or screen. I'll stick with screen. Moving down, here is where I can enable or disable computer audio for my recording. Same with cameras. Oh, hey, look at me down there, hey. Eh? And also microphones. As you can see, we have a little picture and picture shot here, which I am putting at a very unflattering angle. You can change the shape of this picture and picture, you can change the size of it, and you can put it anywhere you want. I'm getting dizzy. So how about we just put me here, okay? That's better, thank you very much. So, I'm pretty much ready to record now. So let's start recording. As you can see, I can drag to record a specific part of the screen, but I wanna record the whole thing, so I'll just click space. Gives me a little countdown here to get my movie face ready. And we're recording. Now I can teach my dumb friend how to use Google. And when I'm done, I can just go here and stop it. And then our quick editor pops up. And this is where you can make those minimal edits to your recording before you send it off. So I'll set my transcription language to English. And we have some small features in here like adding markers, removing filler words, doing quick corrections. But really this is more optimized to quickly be published. If you decided you wanna do some heavier editing though, don't worry, you can copy your recording to its own project here and do what you gotta do. But I'm ready to publish, so I can go into my publish settings here if I wanna change anything, but I'm good. And now I'll just publish. As you can see, the share page automatically pops up and it's also copied to my clipboard so I can paste it anywhere, share it anywhere, you get the idea. And if I wanna access this recording later, all I gotta do is go to my quick recordings tab in my drive view and here it is. So again, super useful for quick off the cuff recordings. But now let's get into the editor recorder. Now the editor recorder is meant for your more elaborate edits and you'll see why in a sec. If I click on the editor recorder here, you'll see that the settings are pretty much the same. So I'll set it up real quick to how I like it. Oh, hey, there I am again at the bottom. I'll do my recording, transcription language, I'll set to English, do space for full screen and start recording. Hi, I'm recording now. What am I recording? Who knows? Again, I'll click stop. And as you can see, my recording gets added to the project but it gets recorded as a multi-layer sequence. So instead of my camera being burned into the video like with quick recordings, now I can manipulate my camera and my screen recording however I want. And you can even go into the media library and edit the sequence if you want to. As you can see, this completely eliminates the need for a third-party recorder, and it makes it so much easier to either send recordings out or add them into your project. So go off and record and record and record to your heart's content. And I'll be here making myself dizzy. How fun is this? See you guys.